Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're testing how bad the bomb latency problem is in DCS World. This only affects multiplayer and there's two problems, multiplayer bombs, DCS World, October 2019. One is the latency problem, one is a desync problem. So latency problem is basically what we're going to show you is that we're in multiplayer. This is my private server. RC is going to be a client in my server. He's going to come along. He's going to drop a bomb and the bomb is going to aiming for this guy here in the middle, this, uh, this fire. And we're not looking at how accurate he can get it to that middle. But what we're looking at is his, on his screen, the bomb will hit a different place to where it hits on my screen. And if we had another client in this server, it would hit somewhere else on his screen. So depending on whose view you're looking at, it differs. It's just a problem we've got a multiplayer. And it's causing us increasing problems in DCS. So that is latency. Desync is a bigger problem. So desync in DCS at the moment, uh, good examples are GBUs from F16s, uh, wall eyes from F18s. Again, in multiplayer, if you've got myself and RC, if I dropped a laser guided GBU in an F16, for instance, on my screen, it might guide perfectly down and destroy the tank. And on RC screen, it never caught the laser. The same bomb never catches the laser. So in his screen, it hits a quarter of a mile away. The tank still blows up, but the actual bomb hit a quarter of a mile away. That's proper desync. That's a big bug. I have no doubt that ED are already aware of that, and I'm sure they'll probably go and fix that. So I'm not actually going to worry about that. Same thing with the walleye. What we find is that for me, I'm driving the walleye, and I guide it perfectly down to a pinpoint target, and pang, kill the target. On our C screen, that walleye never got guided, and it hits two miles over there. There you go. So we're just looking at latency, which is just the small differences in ping. Or To be honest, I don't really understand what the problem is. But like I said, depending on whose screen you're looking at, that bomb will land in a different place. Rough background to this is that I uh, made my own flight simulator roughly at the same time the first version of DTS came out. It was called Flanker, 1995, 96, I think it was. And you know, terrible pile of crap. Um, actually, actually, it looked quite good. My my uh, flight simulator, but it didn't fly very well. And I even made it multiplayer um, because we had the kind of first multiplayer go games going out back then. And making it and any game for single player, including DCS, is very easy. Very easy to control a game in single player. Make it good. Make it bug free, and so on and so on. Multiplayer is a different kettle of fish. The same game a multiplayer is really troublesome, and it's really hard to code games for multiplayer because because of the time differences the ping differences it takes real genius coding to get multiplayer to work and to be honest i never got any good at it so that's why we're probably going to see what we're seeing today now that's not really a full, full excuse good coding will always be able to get over uh, latency it's just how good your coding is at the end of the day and from various games that we have dcs is somewhere in the middle we've seen games that are worse coded on multiplayer we've seen games that are better coded on multiplayer and dcs is yeah, roughly somewhere in the middle so just go on with the test i'm the host of this private server rc is my client i think it's gonna make a difference we've got 171 there i'll try it again 171 you're on the West Coast, aren't you, RC? West Coast, yep. He's on the West Coast, so California, about 200 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds. Uh, he's going to drop a bomb. He's going to aim for this guy in the middle. It doesn't matter where, you know, how far off he is. That's not what we're testing. What we're testing is how far off on his screen the bomb lands to where that bomb lands on my screen. We've got these cones to measure them. These cones are spaced exactly 100 feet between cones, and we can tell how bad the problem is and how we can exacerbate it by increasing altitude, increasing speed. Okay, I'm ready for run one. I'll see if you come in about 5,000 feet, about, you know, just subsonic, a normal bomb run at 5,000 feet, CCRP, uh, auto, whatever you call it. Now. So, the thing to bear in mind here is this bomb is actually in different places depending on who's watching it. It's a bit like, uh, it's a bit like uh, subatomic particle uh, superposition. It's, it's, a, it's a really weird effect. Oh, god damn it, hit the goddamn flag, RC. What are the chances? So, so it's right next to flag one. Right, so we didn't have much difference there. Unfortunately, I don't have a crater to look at, but I can see where it would have landed. So. We've got a deviation there of about 50 feet, I'm guessing. Um, can we run that test again? We're just a bit unlucky, obviously, that we hit the flag. Let's just run that one exactly as you yep. did before. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one's spooning up to the side, question mark. Right. Where did you get the bar crater, RC, please? Yep, so you got flag one on the nearest. I got 
uh, sorry, on the far side. I got flag one on the near side. So we've got just over 200 feet deviation there from when our bombs landed. That's interesting. Okay, so the biggest deviation we've seen so far is 200 feet. Now we're going to see if we can step up the uh, the, the error um, from 200 feet. What we're going to do is same test RC, but full power. See if that enhances it. Uh, and in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just change these targets out for something smaller. Okay, we're back in for round three. We've got rid of the cones because they don't work. We've replaced them with BRMDs or whatever they are. When you're in RC, can you give me ideally 5,000 feet maximum speed? It's going to be short. Oh, it's not even going to make up to the course RC. Why is it doing this? You're doing auto, aren't you? Yep. Well, it might still work. For me, it hit about 200 feet short of the little house. Where does it hit for you? About the same. Hmm. I think we're going to have to scratch so that. To the right of it. For some reason, we're not... Yeah, same here. For some reason, going fast, the auto is just not working, isn't it? Okay, um, I don't know why. It's just upsetting the system. Could we do just like a normal 400 knot then, but a bit higher? About 10,000 feet, 400 knot? See if that works. I'm short again, but hopefully not as bad. It's just got the ballistics set up for the wrong bomb. Jesus, that was terrible, I see. Or is that my eyes? No, it's just my eyes, don't worry. No, it's going to drop short. Yeah, it's not your Right on that building. Right. So, where... I mean, for me, that was 50 feet uh, outwards of flag 4. Where was it for you? I hit the building dead on. Ah, oh, look at that! So for that was literally one, two, three, four, five, five to six hundred feet difference, RC. I mean, that shows this is why I'm pointing the problem out, everyone, because on my screen, he hit basically a different town, and on RC screen, he hit the house. And because, oh God, I don't know. And, and then his client sends a signal to my host that the house has been destroyed, even though his bomb over there it's so confusing isn't it, rc and so we're dropping bombs yep. in multiplayer and and they're hitting other people's targets and we're hitting friendly targets and i'm like why did you bomb the friendly target and he said they didn't i bombed the red target even though the friendly target's just blown up even though it's 600 feet away so it is getting daft and let's see how bad we can really get the problem rc let's see twenty thousand feet normal mill power and i mean we could have like we could have thousands feet in accuracy because the higher we, and faster we drop this from the more the multiplier of the inaccuracy is the way the dcs works is that the only thing it has in common with the client which is you is the bomb drop the actual bomb ballistics per se are calculated separately on my screen calculated separately to your screen and because of latency if there's a t just a few milliseconds difference that will be exaggerated over several thousand feet of drop I think they're probably going to come back and just say, oh, it's just, you know, it's just how it is. It's just multiplayer. But intelligent coding would know how to get rid of that problem. I'm not a programmer, but you know what I'm getting at. There should be intelligent right. solutions to this kind of thing. Armour doesn't have this problem. So why does DCS have a problem? Um, it may be a, maybe a stupid um, comparison to make. It may turn out, but, you know, I'm representing the, the customer here. Um, are you meant to be bombing? So I, I just... Uh, I dropped here? from 15,000 and it dropped short. Where did it drop? About, uh, in the ocean. Yeah. Um, uh, mm. uh, I could only get up to 15. I couldn't make it up to 20 before it. So the problem we got now is that the bloody Hornet's not working. Um, should we go and change it for Mark 82s? It's obviously that the plane's obviously yeah. not working. It thinks they're Mark 82s or it thinks they're slit drags or high drag or something. Uh, yes, that's another bloody bug. Uh, this is not a good day for ED. Right, I'm quitting. Okay, so we're repeating this test five or six, whatever it is now. We've got Mark 82. That should work. I think the Hornet's just not dropping Mark 84s properly at the moment. Oh, boy. Hit the island, hit the island, hit the island, hit the island. What I think they've probably done is put the Mark 82 drag data into the other bombs and just haven't fixed it. This will probably be on target. I bet, yeah. this, I bet this proves me right, look. Yes, bang on the money, yes. ED, please put the right drag information in the right bombs. That's such a stupid thing to do. Get a bit annoyed about that now. Right, a little long for me. So it's as long as it's short for me. How many hundreds of feet bearing in mind each BMP is a uh, hundred feet? It was a uh, far side first BMP. Okay, so that was a hundred feet uh, far. It was a hundred. It was hundred feet short for me. So that was a two hundred foot error. I think that wraps the video up there, RC. So what we've seen is 
depending on what bomb you've got, how high you drop it, how fast you're going. The faster you're going and the higher you are, tends to metastasize the error. So this one here was 200 feet error. We've had 200 feet error from Mark 84. We've had 150 feet error from Mark 84. And we've had 600 feet, roughly, error from a Mark 84. I imagine there's an element of randomizer in that bomb drop as well. And each one of our PCs, clients, appears to be using a different randomizer for that bomb. So that again should be coded differently. Obviously, I'm not someone who likes to point out problems in DCS, not in my interest to do it. But this is obviously guys like us who are multiplayer based is a real problem you can see we can't even we can't really go out and bomb stuff because of this and it's um causing us all sorts of problems so we'd like to see some pushback from ed if they can explain maybe why the problem is is it fixable is it not fixable obviously it's been here from the start of, of um uh, dcs world uh so we've got to show hope that helps see you later